This video cast is going to talk about solutions and also predicting um, and practicing how molecules move between two solutions. A solution is a homogeneous mixture, homogeneous meaning that it looks the same throughout, like Kool-Aid. There's a solvent and a solute as a part of the solution. The solvent is a thing that's doing the dissolving. The solute is a substance that's being dissolved. And so if you had a glass of Kool-Aid, and in there you had 5% um, Kool-Aid mix in there, the rest would be water, and that means that there would have to be 95% water in the solution because we're talking about all of the solution. So 5% Kool-Aid plus 95% water equals 100% of the solution. Um, of uh, another solution in which we have um, two solutions and we have a baggie. So in this one, we'll make our beaker nice and large. Okay, and in here we've got a solution and then inside of that we're going to place a baggie with another solution. Okay, in the outside um, solution here uh, we're going to have a salt water solution. So because it's a solution with salt water it means we have some salt and the rest has to be water. Okay. Um, if this had a 10% solution of salt, it would be 10% salt, and there would have to be 90% water, because together this has to make up 100% of the solution outside. And if we looked inside and we had um, a 20% salt solution, there would be 20% salt, and there would have to be 80% water. Now, earlier we defined um, diffusion as the movement of molecules from an area of greater concentration to an area of lesser concentration without energy. And we, des we defined um, the same for osmosis is the movement of water from an area of greater concentration to an area of greater, uh, lesser concentration without water. And so if we were to look at the water movement here, we would predict that water would move from the 90% to the 80% because 90 is greater than 80 and so we could draw an arrow to show that water moves into the bag from the beaker solution because it's moving down the concentration gradient and it's moving into the beaker. Likewise for the salt solution um, we would say the salt would move from the baggie because it's 20% into the beaker because it's only 10% and both would be moving down the concentration gradient from greater to lesser without energy. The movement of salt happens by diffusion. The movement of water happens by osmosis. So in the worksheet, um, you just have to identify uh, the percentages of each of the other solutions. So in the beaker solution here, we have uh, a solution that's 75% water and salt. If it's 75% water, then it has to be 25% salt and because that together equals 100% and outside the solution we outside of the cell we have another solution containing salt and water and there's 45% salt if we subtract that from 100 we should get 55% water and the solution outside the 55 and the 45 is equal to 100 and the solution inside the 75 and the 25 should equal 100 because there's two different solutions. So the present solution um, inside the cell of salt is 25%. What's the present of water in the solution outside the cell? We said that that's 55%. What's the, percent of, what's the total percent of solution inside of the cell? And the total percent, of course, is 100. 75 plus 25 is equal to 100. The solvent in this example is water. That's what's doing the dissolving. And then the definition of osmosis is the movement of water from an area of greater concentration to an area of lesser concentration without the use of energy. 
and then we can use a blue pencil to draw the arrow here. Um, and this says, using a blue pencil, draw an arrow showing that, uh, showing the direction that water will move in this example. And water will move from inside to outside because it's going to move from 75 towards 55. And that's the example, the first one. So good luck with this. I hope you have uh, success in completing this. And uh, let me know if you need some additional help.